Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel. This is Soloride and this time I will show you how you can edit 4K footage in DaVinci Resolve even with an old, cheap and lousy notebook. If you like this content, please consider to subscribe to my channel. DaVinci Resolve is very demanding on the hardware. We want to have a lot of memory, a fast CPU, a powerful graphics card and a very fast drive. So you would want to get a very fast computer. However, if you do not have the money, as I do, you are more likely to end up with something like this. Luckily, there are a number of settings you can change to improve the performance of DaVinci a lot. So let's start doing that. You find the settings for optimized media and render format in the settings uh, down here. So choose master settings and you can see you have a section here where all the options for the media and render cache uh, settings are stored. So here you have the different quality settings. Make sure you put that down to single quality. Also, in your case, here you have enabled background caching after 5 seconds, in your case probably. Make sure it is 1. It just means that whenever the computer is idle for more than 1 second, DaVinci Resolve is going to render your cache files in the background. Now you have to make sure that DaVinci is actually using the optimized media you just created. So get to playback and make sure use optimized media if available is selected. Now in the next step you want to make sure that DaVinci is actually really rendering cache files. So to do this select playback again, go down to render cache and change this to either smart or user. If you choose user, you have to choose later on the files manually for cache rendering. So the best thing I would say you could do is select smart so all files will be cached as they are needed. Okay, now we actually have to tell DaVinci which files to use for generating optimized media. So you just click it in your timeline, right click it and then choose generate optimized media. Small pop-up uh, will be shown and you see the progress uh, while DaVinci is working on it. So the next thing we want to think about uh, are fusion compositions and color grading. Uh, whenever you do this, uh, you know, it's very, very demanding on the hardware. But also for, for this problem there are settings that can help you a bit. So get to the composition or the color created clip, right click, then you choose render cache fusion output and set it to on. And what you see you get a blue line up here and it means it's basically cached already. And you also can set render cache color output. This will help with any color grading you did. So you see it got red again and now this line is starting to turn blue which means the blue section is already pre-rendered and the red part is still in progress. The next thing you want to do is you want to activate your proxy mode. So change playback again Get to proxy mode and then set it to quarter or half resolution. What that actually means is that DaVinci is only using half or a quarter of the amount of pixels it has to deal with uh, when generating the preview window and doing work in your timeline. So this is very useful to speed it up. I set it to quarter resolution in my case. Now the last step we will be talking about uh, is the question of uh, hardware, of drives and file locations. 
and you can change that on the general settings here and you get to master settings and here you have a section called working folders so as you can see uh, my drive led this H and that's because I mounted an external SSD drive which is quite fast and of course all your workflow is going to be faster if you have a fast drive where your cache files and your galleries are located so if you have a very cheap notebook and you cannot change hardware inside that or you don't have the money try to get a small ssd a portable one there are nice ones from samsung i will put a link into the description of this file and mount it and then di direct the working folders to this place it really speeds up the whole process quite a lot okay guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful to you if it was please consider to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up Hit the bell and see you next time and have a nice day.